Alright guys, we are back. Holy crap. Stop that. And Come we on. are back with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, reverse. I was thinking after we go to Aurichstad, I think I want to go to England. So, let's do this. I know we have a treasure map for by Aurichstad. Catch the wind. So we'll go to Aurichstad, do what must be done. Use that treasure map. Oh crap catching air and from there we're gonna go to England and rape and pillage and all the normal things I think that's where we're going that town over there Have you ever seen so many ships docked at once? Never, nor has there been a gathering of kings so large as this. Does everyone in Alrekstar there play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age? No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. He could not keep us apart when we were raiding. Ah. He would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. After a while, the crew made us stop. I said it was distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, 
But talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding. That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only, uh... uh... Well, all right. Grab your weapon, you big, strong viking. Today we raid. A raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes, yes. Let us go, Viking. Maybe you could start by breaking things. And scream, as you do, like it is really happening. It is uh, amusing, but not arousing. Yeah, it does not feel real enough. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes! Burn down our house! Burn it to the ground! <laughs> Sigurd, where are you at? Let's see you, old friend. a foul stench. I have an we are strong, Annie. Yes, strong with stink. Stop. Huh. Shall we lock horns? Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. Uh, fear got you then, deep in your belly. I'll take an old Step closer, seal face, and say that again. I said your stench is strong. That's your only... <laughs> you have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. And Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Hmm. 
Basim. Watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. Yes, I resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver? The size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Possibly. Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stepping your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. <laughs> we are seekers of justice, shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. Um, come here. A few this. things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Orm is there. In the camp ahead. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before meat. I have to grow some lamb on the spit. Now you Gorm. pay! Who would come uh. and die? You Arga shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. 
So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. Keep growing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The old thing will have started. I should find Sigurd. Have a look, Sunin.
can't find that, so... Pigs got loose in the house, and now the cellar key is gone. It is your turn to dig through shit. How do we get under this house? back here.
Time to go around. Dude, multiple doors next time. Seriously? Try to get in. Tommy Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black, a great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify, and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow, we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjord. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together, we fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Ljuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. 
My king, I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kurtveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Background! You lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjortve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold. May I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. Oh. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Oh, man. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me! Not a word! And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right! Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Wow. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. All I know of fate is that its pattern is unknowable. I do not worry beyond that fact. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. So maybe I do get to go to England now. Because he's basically said, if I stay in Norway, I have to serve under him. <laughs> and ever the politician basically said to everyone you either you know Arrow's colors send the knee he's already marking his territory or get out 
Harold may be young, but he is clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. You there! What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry? First, they will demand tax. <laughs> and soon after, they will be living in our homes. Keep your voice down, they will hear you. Fine by me. If those backgrounds come to our door, I will carve them new shitholes. How can I help? Hmm. Let me see my shot. Anything else? No, I do not, young man. Thank I will you free you much. from this bond. And I will be ready when you need me. Wait, where the heck did he go? Eivor, open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back. The wars will never end. Or they will push us into the Christian ways. Quiet all. Give me a chance to speak. England. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kurtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. 
That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotvis' riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Kjotvis' riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Thanks, Walker. The wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I say let's do it. This is what we wanted. Not yet. I have a few things to settle first. Wrong button. Are you ready to set sail, Eivor? I'm ready. Let us tank to the water and leave there unbothered we while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look. Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. Piss off, as old man. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anchor, Lord. Damn. No, you must be his better half. May Aggie bless your voyage.
some wool. So put some muscle into those pools. We gave up we have an ocean. the supplies for doing oh, the honorable thing. And then his dad gave them to us. What's our course? The sons of the sea established yeah, yeah. the settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Draghi, sing a song to lift our roof. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So okay. to England, glory and destiny. To England, to England, for Valhalla. Let's go. Time. Uh, I don't want to skip it, I want to watch it. Citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. Uh oh. Who's shooting nukes? How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Already then. Let's see You're how You're a long I, way from home, Eivor. I'm the key to everything. Mm. Walk into town, then use this. Oh, come on. Don't be a coward.
We'd love to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. Okay. Some quality stuff here. All right, let's see what's going on. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. <laughs> I needed air. How was the enemy's data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. See if I can find anything out from this stuff. That's quite nice. Soothing. Yes, I'm sure it is. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Let's have a look. Um, okay. <laughs> you have a gift and a curse. The gift of old blood. The curse of not understanding it. We can help. We can help if you help us. What you did is not your fault, but you must take responsibility for it. Otherwise, nothing gets done. One of us will contact you. If you miss us, you miss your chance. Who the fuck is this? Your uh, favorite baseball team happens to be the Atlantis Eagles. Oh. Good, not ready. Last message. One last message after which all communication between us via this account or any other will cease. We have our own ways of talking. Method that cannot be sniffed or traced. Your previous team made this mistake. They need the risks. But they were sloppy enough traces of their activity on everything, digital fingerprints everywhere. This will not happen to us. My colleagues tell me, uh, you know what, just pause it if you want to read it. Getting sicker and sicker. Okay. Is it COVID? Is that why you're being cagey? Suit Sandler now. Alright. Sean Hastings.
interested in this. Conversations that Bex and I had with Desmond back in 2012. Um, December, I think. Just, uh, candid talks, that's all. We didn't square any circles or write any beat poetry. But he did have some interesting insights into his time in the Animus and what it means to be an assassin. Anyway, have a listen. You might find you and he had similar experiences. So, uh, well, let me know what you think. Unless... You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the... ...mood stabilizer. It's not harmful. There shouldn't be. It's up... Sean... I understand, still. If you want to work with us, then you wear that... I know. It's just a few... You're right. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript if you're looking for something. Oh. No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. That is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call it for the day. We're running a little over. We're almost an hour now. And appreciate you guys watching if you have a chance hit that like button let me know in the comments what you would like to see what you want me to do and i will see you guys later